Hello dear ones, Father Peter John coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst. I received something very special last night in the form of a request from California. A young man, Noah Nectarios, asked me if I would mind telling a story about his patron saint, Saint Nectarios of Egina. So, I am going to tell a story, one of my favorite stories about Saint Nectarios, and it's not one of his uh, miracle working stories as he's uh, later in life as a bishop. It is a story from his childhood that has to do with shoes. Saint Nectarios was um, the son, the fifth of six children, son of a very pious father and mother who lived in a small village in northern Greece. And uh, they were very poor, they did not have a lot of money. And when Saint Nectarios was 14, he decided that it would be a good thing, and this was with the blessing of his parents, of course, to go to the city and try to get a job so that he could help both to support his family back home, but also so that he could um, be able to support his desire for the theological education. He really, really wanted to be uh, a theologian in life. So, Saint Nectarios boarded a ship and uh, took off, set sail for Constantinople. There was uh, an instance on the ship, actually the second day that they were on the ship, that the, uh, the, there were waves, the storm, uh, storm waves were tossing the ship, and everyone on the ship was very frightened. Saint Nectarios calmly took the cross from around his neck, he took the belt from around his waist, he tied it together, and he dipped the cross into the waters, and he told the waters to be still. And, uh, miraculously, the waves died down and the storm uh, dissipated and the people on the ship were delivered safely to Constantinople. Well, Saint Nectarios, uh, when he got to Constantinople, looked everywhere for a job and the only job that he could find was at a tobacco production plant. He was, uh, again, this young man, 14 years old, and the owner of the tobacco plant really seemed to have taken advantage of him in a way that was not very kind. He paid him very little, actually so little, that St. Nectarios could hardly afford to eat, let alone have any of his other needs met, or to be able to save any money to send to give any relief to his family back home. So, uh, St. Nectarios one day, he decided that he would write a letter to the Lord and ask him for help. So he did. He sat down and he wrote a letter and it went something like this. Uh, my little Christ, I don't have shoes or an apron. Please help. And then he signed his name. Oh, he, oh I, the other thing I forgot to tell you, he said, after that he said, you know how much I love you. <laughs> so uh, he took the letter, he folded it up, he put it in an envelope, he addressed it to Jesus, our, uh, to our sweetest Lord Jesus in heaven, sealed it up, and he was walking out of the factory to go and mail the letter, but there was a factory uh, owner actually across the street who also was heading towards the mail center. And uh, when he saw St. Nectarios, he greeted him, and St. Nectarios seemed, uh, I think, a little frightened because he was leaving his job to go mail this letter. But the man across the street who knew St. Nectarios um, said, listen, it's okay. Don't, be, uh, don't worry about it. I'll take the letter and I'll make sure it gets mailed for you. St. Nectarios was very happy. He went back to his work. The man took the letter to the postal station, and as he was going to mail it, he looked at the address and thought, oh dear, um, what am I to do with this? Well, what did he do? He opened it and he read the letter. And there are two different accounts of what happened next. Uh, one account says that he took an envelope and he put cash in it and wrote a little letter um, uh, suggesting what the money should be, how the money should be used. And then the, uh, the other version is that he actually went and he bought shoes and he bought the apron and he put them in a box and wrapped them up and had them delivered to St. Nectarios from the Lord Jesus in heaven. In any case, St. Nectarios' prayer was answered. He was cared for by the Lord. And this is one of those instances actually where we didn't see some kind of a vast miraculous circumstance play taking place, like walking on water, for example. Uh, what we saw was uh, God working through a loving and caring neighbor in order to care for his child, Nectarios. 
May the same Lord Jesus Christ provide, bless, comfort, and encourage, and strengthen all of us. Through the prayers of St. Nectarios, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.